2. Moon Cycle and Tides Main Ideas Living things that live on the shore must adapt to the rising and falling of the tides. The changing appearance of the moon as it orbits is called the moon cycle. The four main phases of the moon cycle are new moon, first quarter, full moon, and last quarter. How does life adapt to the tides? Rising and falling tides cause the amount of water covering a shoreline to change throughout the day. Beach areas, wetlands, and rocky cliffs are all places where water meets land. They are divided into three zones. The top of a shoreline is called the splash zone because it is regularly splashed by passing waves. The intertidal zone is where the tide alternates between high and low throughout the day. The necrotic zone is permanently covered in water in an area just below the intertidal zone. Animals in different zones have different body structures to help them survive. Crabs and other crustaceans have legs that allow them to hold on to rough surfaces and move as the tide comes and goes. Many animals that live in water must be able to move so that they don't dry out. Starfish have small suction cups on their legs that allow them to hold fast to a surface when the waves rush in. They can also regenerate legs if one is damaged. Plants have similar adaptations. Some seaweeds have hold fasts, which are roots that can attach to rocky surfaces. Other seaweeds can lose up to 90% of their moisture to wait out the tides. Humans must also find ways to deal with high tides that bring powerful waves and flooding. Many beaches have sandy dunes and sea walls to prevent ocean water from, from flooding out onto the street. What is the moon cycle? The moon orbits Earth every 29 and 5 tenths days, which causes the tides to change height and duration over the course of the month. We see the moon's changing position as changes in its appearance. It appears as a small sliver some of the time, while other nights it looks like a full white disk in the sky. One night a month, called New Moon, the moon can't be seen at all. The changing appearance of the moon is called the moon cycle. We are able to see the moon because the sun shines on it, lighting it up for us. Sunlight only reaches half of the moon at any time. The moon looks different every night because the sunlit side of the moon sometimes faces Earth and sometimes faces away from Earth. The part of the moon that we see depends on where the moon is in its orbit around Earth. The moon cycle has four main phases. These phases repeat every 29 and 5 tenths days because that is how long it takes for the moon to orbit Earth. One. New moon is the first phase of the moon cycle. The half of the moon that does not receive sunlight is facing directly toward Earth. From Earth, the moon appears completely dark and unlit by the sun. 2. First quarter is the second phase of the moon cycle. From Earth, the left half of the moon appears unlit and the right half of the moon appears lit. 3. Full moon is the third phase of the moon cycle. The half of the moon that receives sunlight is facing Earth. From Earth, the moon appears round and bright. Four, last quarter is the fourth phase of the moon cycle. From Earth, the left, ha the left half of the moon appears lit, and the right half of the moon appears unlit. Other phases describe the moon as it waxes and wanes in the night sky. A waxing moon is when the moon appears to grow over time. A waning moon is when the moon appears to shrink over time. In the know, bar graphs. A bar graph is a diagram that uses horizontal or vertical bars to represent numbers. Bar graphs display information in a way that makes it easy to compare data. There are two types of bar graphs, vertical and horizontal. 
For this unit, we will only be using vertical bar graphs. How to make a bar graph. Step 1. Decide on a title for your graph. The title should summarize what data the graph is showing. Step 2. Draw and label the vertical axis, the y-axis, and the horizontal axis, the x-axis. Step 3. Identify what is being compared on the x-axis. Step 4. Decide on a number scale for the y-axis. Write numbers from least to greatest up the y-axis. Identify the units of measurement. Step 5. Draw bars to compare different measurements. The Moon and Tides activity is an activity that we will do in class together. Flip the page. Flip the page again and flip the page one more time. Section 2. Try this on your own. These are optional activities that you could choose to do to exceed the standards. Observe. Begin a moon calendar. Observe the moon each night for a month and make a daily sketch of the moon. On nights when the moon is not visible, visit www.moonconnection.com to find the current moon phase. Read. Many stories are inspired by the moon. Read the first stanza of the poem, The Moon, by Robert Louis Stevenson, and discuss your reaction. How would you describe the moon to someone? The moon. The moon has a face like the clock in the hall. She shines on thieves on the garden wall, on streets and fields and harbor keys, and birdies asleep in the forks of the trees. Graph. Find the daily high tides and low tides of a nearby shoreline in the newspaper or on the internet. Design a graph that shows when the tides occur each day. Research. Learn more about the animals and plants that live on the shoreline. Find out the kinds of crabs, starfish, snails, and seaweeds that live near the shore closest to you. Take a field trip to the beach and try to identify each living thing you find there. The glossary. One, first quarter. The second phase of the moon cycle, from the Earth, the left half of the moon appears unlit and the right half of the moon appears lit. Two, Full moon, the third phase of the moon cycle. From Earth, the moon appears completely lit by the sun. 3. Gravity, the attractive force between all matter. More massive objects have stronger gravitational force. 4. Last quarter, the fourth phase of the moon cycle. From Earth, the left half of the moon appears lit, and the right half of the moon appears unlit. 5. Moon, Earth's largest natural satellite. 6. Moon cycle, the changing appearance of the moon, as seen from Earth, as it orbits Earth. The moon completely orbits Earth every 29 and 5 tenths days. 7. New moon, the first phase of the moon cycle, from Earth. The moon appears completely dark and unlit by the sun. 8. Tides. The alternate rising and falling of the sea with respect to the land caused by gravity of the moon and sun along with Earth's rotation. Seawater alternates between high and low tides.